Hi everyone, today this is going to be a quick video on how to set up a TP-Link AC1200 uh, wireless router but in access point only mode. So let's get it out. Power adapter, if anyone needs to get a replacement, it is 9 volts and 0.85 amps. So plug that in, turn it on, and get a network cable. I'm going to use one that isn't cable tied together, or uh, twisty tied together. And I'm going to plug into any of the LAN ports and then into the LAN port on the laptop. Okay, it's another day, it's another world. Uh, I've still got this plugged in, moved the laptop around a bit because I needed the desk space, and uh, let's see what can be done. So the IP address that this router is on, by default, is 192.168.0.1. I'm on my Wi-Fi as well, and I've got my Wi-Fi, uh, my normal Wi-Fi showing in that list. I need to get rid of that. So let's go to 192.168.0.1, and we get the logon page. The default is admin, and the default password, sorry, default user is admin, the default password is also admin. And let's click through the wizard. I want it in access point mode. Next. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm also going to take it off of auto channel mode because I don't trust auto channel mode to pick the correct or the most sensible channel. Then on the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi Once again, I don't trust that it's going to select a sensible channel. So you can either have it get the IP address from your router, which might be okay if you can get a list of devices from your router and work out which uh, one this TP-Link access point is. If you can't get that or don't know how to get that, you are probably best finding an IP address that isn't in use on your network. So, in this instance, I am going to leave it on DHCP because I know that the router that the this place has can give me a list of the devices on the network and it will be easy to identify the access point. And click finish, there we go. That will restart, and at that point it will be in DHCP mode on the network side, and on the wireless side it will be an access point.
Now it's rebooted and my laptop here is not running a DHCP server and the uh, access point or the router is plugged into my laptop so there's basically the router is going to be saying I need a DHCP address and if it can't get an IP from the DHCP server it falls back to the default 192.168.0.1 IP address. Uh, I will set a password because it's going to be in a place where there's going to be public or vaguely public accessing it. What I'm going to do now is unplug this from the laptop and plug it into my main network and we'll make sure that I can see the router on the main network. So here is a cable from my main network with a massive RF choke on it for some reason, but there we go. Plug that in. And I can see on my router that it has given out an IP address to an extra device, which will be the access point which I've just plugged in. So that's 1.160. So in my address bar, I'm going to take take out what's in there and type in my IP range for my own network is 0.1.160, which is the details I can see from my existing router, which isn't a TP link. Um, and I can now see the web interface for this TP link. So that's definitely working. I've plugged that into any of the LAN ports. What will be interesting to see is uh, whether if I plug it into the, the blue WAN port as to whether that continues to work as well. So we're 192, uh, sorry, no, we are 10.0.1.160. So unplug it, which the ping will stop. Let's plug it into the the, la the, the blue WAN port. Excellent. So for uh, simplicity and kind of idiot proofing, in access point mode, it joins all of these five network sockets together. So it doesn't actually matter whether your user or if you're deploying it yourself or putting it in yourself. It doesn't matter in access point mode when you've gone through the web interface there and set it into access point mode doesn't matter whether it's in the blue socket or the yellow socket, um, any of them will work. So this is now ready to go to be put in to where it's going to go and I'm set up, this setup is done. If this video has been helpful to you it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on for new videos but the subscriber numbers really do help. If you have any questions I also may be able to answer them uh, so please do leave a comment and I will reply if I know the answer, and even if I don't know the answer, I probably will also reply letting you know that I don't. So I'm going to pack this router up, send it off to who it's going to go to, and we're done here.